Hey, what's up ATG forum members? Um, this is going to be my first video strictly for the forum. Um, and uh, today I'd like to talk a little bit about copper plating your uh, cast, cast bullets, whether it's wheel weights or uh, pure lead. <coughs> um, before, the, before I do that though, I'd like to give a shout out to, uh, first of all, Daywalker for making the uh, forum possible. Um, I think it's it, I think it's the best gun forum on the web, and uh, also I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Dan Ricard for actually showing me how to do this. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is show you my. He's already posted his. Um, I'm going to show you what you know a few things that I've done to kind of do it a little bit differently. Um, but essentially, it's pretty much it's Dan's uh, Dan's baby. So <clears throat> what I've done is. I'm going to show you my copper bath here. This is a, uh, this is my setup. Okay, um, the way I've, the way that my my cons mine consists of a coffee pot uh, to warm our bath solution, our actual bath, and our power source, three amp power source. Um, so what we, what we can do is we're going to do a little overview of the of the entire system and uh, explain to how, how, how I have everything hooked up. But what I'd like to do first is show you exactly this is what we're, this is what we're trying to come up with here. Um, this is one that I did last night. This is a 9mm uh, 120 grain Lee truncated nose bullet that I, you know, I plated a bunch of these last night. Um, and I'm pretty, I'm, ha I'm pretty happy with this result. Um, the finish is nice and smooth. It's pretty durable. Um, so like I said, this is what we're trying to come up with and that's hopefully what we can get everybody's bullets to look like if they want a copper plate. Okay, so little overview of the system here. Um, go ahead and take my top off. And you can see that I've had the uh, coffee pot running here because it's, we've got lots of steam rising out of the, out of the bath there. It's nice and hot. Um, and I find that they played a little bit better when it's hot. So this is the system I came up with. So basically, <clears throat> firstly, when you set up your, your bath, um, you're going to go ahead and <clears throat> you're going to need to make a, uh, you're going to need a negative source of, to connect to your power and a positive. Um, and basically what you're going to do is you're going to have your negative uh, in the box, the way that I've done it is I've drilled holes here and here and just took a big old ground wire and looped it through. The ground, you don't want to touch the solution at all. And uh, basically I have it coming out here out of the end of the box over here. Okay. So that's not touching the solution. Now your positive is here okay and I have it coming into the box over here you can see I drill the hole and I just have it coming down into the box and I just have a strip of wire just right down inside the box there uh, the whole length of the box basically okay and hopefully you guys can see that in there <coughs> now what's gonna happen is the uh, there's no contact between here and here, okay? The negative is not touching the solution, the positive is in the solution. So when we hang our bullet uh, into the solution, it's going to create, it's going to, uh, you know, finish the circuit and it's going to allow them connect, to connect. And that's going to be our electric plating. Um, I'm using a 3 amp power source that I got from uh, Radio Shack here. Uh, it's just a regular, plugs into a regular AC outlet and uh, they give you these nice little turn style knobs that you can put your wires into. It's pretty pretty sweet. And um, I also have in line a 1.5 amp uh, car dome light. Okay. Um, and that's just to reduce um, our amperage from 3 amps to 1.5 amps. Um, you don't need very much um, amperage to actually do this project. Uh, actually, if you wanted to, and I've had very good result with uh, some D batteries, and I just take some electrical tape and um, 
you know, just connect your, your positive and your negative to the batteries and you get a very good result using the, uh, the D batteries. I've, I've had good results. It's just that um, I don't want to have to buy batteries every time I play it. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the uh, coffee pot situation here. Um, as I said, I think that they played a little bit better when the solution is warm. So the way I have my coffee pot set up is this. I uh, basically just found this old coffee pot in the attic. And wh what I did was I went ahead and let's turn it around here. Okay. Um, I went ahead and took the bottom of the coffee pot off down here. And uh, there's, uh, there's a reservoir, obviously, where you pour your water in, in the top of the coffee pot, and like you typically make a pot of coffee. Um, the reservoir, by gravity, fills into the end tube. This is the end tube. This tube was actually connected to the back of the reservoir. Uh, and then, basically, there's a, a heating element under here and a coil that the, uh, these rubber tubes attach to, and that's what heats the solution. And then here's the outflow. And basically that would be the part that would perk it up to the top and drop the hot water onto your coffee grounds. So basically um, what I did was we, got a, we have an in flow here and an out flow here. I didn't take the bottom of the coffee pot off, guys, because I figured you could take the bottom of your own coffee pot off. It's very self-explanatory. You're going to see the coil. You're going to see an inflow and an outflow. Very self-explanatory. Um, very intuitive. You'll open your coffee pot up and be able to do it if you want to do it. So we have the inflow and the outflow there. And basically, on this side, okay, let's see if we can get a, take this off for the meantime. Okay, so we can get a better look at what's going on here. Basically, I just have a hole cut here. Uh, drilled a hole, put a little connector in here, a little uh, plastic connector, and connected the tubing. This is going to be the inflow. So this is coming out of the bottom of the box, by gravity, down into the bottom of our coil, and then looping around the coil and heating. This is our return tube, um, and that's what's the outflow on the bottom of your coffee pot. It'll just come back up, and it'll just flow back up here, and I have a hole drilled in the side of the pot here, in the side of the uh, box. Uh, and just have it, you know, kind of laying down inside there. And what I'm going to do now is turn the coffee pot on so you guys can actually see it working. Okay, so just go ahead and turn it on. And uh, I had it warm, so it shouldn't take very long for it to warm up and actually start working here. Um, it's actually starting to work now. and. Uh, See if we can get a better look here. <clears throat> and you can see the fluids already moving up into the top of the up into the top of the box here. Okay. So this is what this is what it looks like. And not only is it heating your solution, um, it's also it's also sort of circulating the solution at the same time. So you're getting a heating circulating effect. And um, basically, what I what I what I like to do is once I get everything in here and sort of um, squared away, get my bullets hung. I'll go ahead and just put my top on right here, like this. And it's a completely closed system at this point. Um, you know, everything's inside there. Um, it keeps the water, it keeps the solution warm, um, and it, I find it works really well. So.